WrestleMania three matches rated ranked. Number 12 of WrestleMania 3, the worst match of the night, the only no stars match of the night, a total waste of time was Butch Reed versus Coco Beware. I almost forgot who won this match. It was Butch Reed who won, but it was so forgettable. Such a waste. Um, first of the three one star matches of the night was the Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov versus the Killer Bees, which was. I'm kind of being generous giving this a one star match. There was really not much to it. It was in between the. It was just the match just before the big main event, so it had a horrible spot on the card, so I guess um, it was always going to be doomed. Uh, number 10 on my list is Hillbilly Jim, the Haiti Kid, and the Little Beaver versus King Kong Bundy and his. Two other um, tag team partners. The names escaped me. I think one was Low Tokyo. Uh, can't remember the other guy's name. But this was a comedy match, which had one big spot of King Kong Bundy slamming the Hey Kid, and then dropping an elbow on him, getting disqualified for that. Um, yeah, so I can't rate it more than a, a one star match. Next up is another kind of comedy match between Handsome Harley Race, or King Harley Race as he's known here, against a JYD junkyard dog whom seem to, at this point, have a very limited wrestling you know, skill. Uh, Harley Race was bumping all over the place. It was really fun to watch. Um, Comedy-wise, this, uh, this would get more stars, but... Rating it as a wrestling match, there was like Harley Race was like wrestling himself, it felt like. So only one star's here. Number eight is the first uh, two star match of the night between Hercules and Billy Jack Haynes. Bobby the Brain Heenan kept referring to him as Billy Jerk Haynes. Um, th this was, you know. Um, just above a one-star match, I thought. I thought the ending sucked. The crowd hated the ending too. Um, and both men got counted out. But then Hercules attacked um, Billy Jack Haynes after the match with his chain, and uh, Billy was bleeding all over the place. It was quite the uh, blade job. Piss off, woman McPhee. I'm in the middle of making a video. Number. Uh, seven on my list is the Dream Team versus the Rougeau Brillers. Now this could have been a very good match, but it never got much time to make it a more than a two-star match. Uh, the Dream Team pick up the win uh, with the help of Dino Bravo. Next up, if fans are going to maybe shoot me for this one, but yes, Bret Hart. And the Dynamite Kid and the Davy Boy Smith are a part of a two-star match. They just did not get enough time in this six-man tag match. Uh, too much focus on Dangerous Danny Davis too. Uh, Tio Santana was also in this match. But really, the, there was a lot of beautiful moves being performed. The uh, Tombstone Pile Driver on Dangerous Danny Davis by Davy Boy Smith was, was a great-looking tombstone. Um... But they really didn't get enough time to deliver anything above a two-star rating. Next was the opening match tonight, the Can-Am Connection, or the K&M Connection, as Gorilla Monsoon kept calling them, against uh, Don Morocco and uh, Cowboy Bob Orton. This was a fun opening. The crowd was really hot for it. And, yeah, it was an exciting start to the show. Um, if it got gone on a little bit longer, we'd have gotten three stars. Next up, now uh, this match, there, there was not much to it, but by God, Rowdy Roddy Piper was so over in this match, and he had a great opponent in um, great contrast in uh, Adrian Adonis. Um, there was some you know funny spots in this match, and the crowd were just really hot for this match, which. It made it, you know, a better match than it really was. There was not a lot going into it. It wasn't that long either, so I, I can't give it three stars. 
Um, well, I guess a two stars from me, but I, I'm um, pretty entertaining and, and more of a, a moment than a match. Um, the third best match of the night was the Honky Tonk Man versus Jake the Snake Roberts. Um, this match, uh, Jake Roberts, you know, he was selling like you wouldn't believe. He was very over too at this point, you know, and he got a good pop when he come out. Um, yeah, he was a just a textbook wrestler. You watch, study Jake Roberts, how he sells moves, how he sells the match, and yeah. If they had gotten more time, perhaps they would have, you know, gotten more than three stars. But yeah, this is my, I gave this match three stars out of five. And the second best match tonight, but the most important match tonight, Hulk Hogan versus Andre Giant. Was it a technical mas masterpiece? No, it wasn't. It was, it had a few dodgy spots in there. And then like the whole Hogan trying to pile drive Andre outside and then he got back dropped and then it looked a bit horrible, but. Like the Piper match, as I mentioned before, this match was all about the moment and it delivered a five-star moment, three-star match overall, in my opinion. Hogan slamming Andre at the peak of his career, at the peak of the golden age of wrestling, which, you know, WWF was not just mainstream. The WWF was all over the place. It was a very, very popular product wrestling, WWF at the time. Um, a lot of people think the actually was the most popular period of wrestling i don't know this this rivals it arguably this was the definitive time to be a wrestling fan number one match is uh ricky steamboat versus randy macho man savage i would have got slurred if i'd picked any other match apart from this match to uh be my match of wrestlemania 3 one of the most important wrestlemanias of all time and, and yeah um I know my star reigns are a bit harsh, but the show and feel of the show, the atmosphere of the show makes this one of the greatest WrestleManias of all time too. In this match in particular, four stars out of five for me. Yeah, not quite five stars. I, um, I think it's a tad overrated this match, but it's still one of the best WrestleMania matches. And you know what I'm like, I'm quite harsh with my reigns. So to get four stars out of five, you've got to be pretty good. And this match was pretty good. Right. Not quite perfect, though. 